dear students today i am going to explain about the protection zones in the power system protection zone is defined as the part of the power system which is protected by a certain protective schemes it's established around each power system equipment when the fault occurs on any of the protection zones then only the circuit breakers within the zone will be opened thus only the fault element will be isolated without disturbing the rest of the system the protective zone covers the entire power system and no part of the equipment is left unprotected it usually consists of one or more element of the power system the protection zone of the power system mainly depends upon the rating of the machine its location the probability of the faults and the abnormal condition of the equipment the fault occurs in the unprotective system will damage the equipment and hence disturb the continuity of the supply so the protective zones of power system can be categorized as generator protective zone generator transformer protective zone bus bar protective zone and transmission line protective zone you can see all the zone displayed in the diagrams illustrated already i have explained about the concept of circuit breakers the circuit breakers used to disconnect any element of the system for repairing or usual operation maintenance requirements and also under abnormal conditions like short circuits when i come to say about the various components the protective zones which are generators transformers bus bars transmission line cables and so on there is not a single part that has no protection in the power system in practice if you see these zones overlapped to ensure the complete safety of all elements of the system the part of the system which is unprotected that known as dead spot or blind spot hence to avoid the dead spot we have to use the overlapping of zones in the diagram you are seeing the overlapping zones the circuit breakers are located in the connections to each power system elements because of this at the time of the fault only the fault element will disconnect due to overlapping of the protective zone if a fault occurs in the overlapped area more circuit breakers than the minimum necessary for the disconnection of fault region so there is a chance of unnecessary tripping of breakers then also for security reason the overlapping done in practical power system network and also there are very fewer chances that fault occurs in this area in practice the protective zones the protection provided by the protective relaying equipment can be categorized in two types primary protection and also the backup protection okay there are many conditions when the primary protections may not be operate example the failure in the circuit breakers in the failure of circuit breakers the breaker cannot operate due to jammed contacts in the circuit breakers how to understand when i come to say the failure in the protective relay the relay setting is not properly done hence it cannot sense the fault properly it, so it is possibilities to a failure of protection by the relay and also in some other cases the loss of voltage and current supply to the relay if it is failure to supplying the voltage and current to the relay there are some possibilities for inoperative of the circuit breaker and also due to the failure of tripping circuit there may be uh, some fault